We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the New York Yankees and the Pittsburgh Pirates. It's Pirates Baseball next on the show. Joe Musgrove gets the start for Pittsburgh in this one. Dan, any thoughts? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn Leading it around in this one. Here's Brett Gardner the now. He'll get us started in Brett. this one under the lights. Gardner first pitch on its way line toward right center and Gardner's going to reach it's a base hit oh okay I see how it's going to be you're going to implore that you're going to use the ambush tactics and not playing nice right there usually you're supposed to take the OO -oh pitch to start the game he wasn't paying attention Stepping into the box, Miguel Andujar. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First pitch of the at-bat. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. He's, going, he's, he's ready. Going. Here's the 0 1. Strike taken to throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff, isn't he? Works his way on base to start the game and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position. He's trying to make an impact from the get go in this one. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Frazier is there and he makes the catch for the out. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Batting third, the right fielder, number 99, Aaron. Here's big Judge. Aaron Judge having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, up there. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty, I know they hey. lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport, you have to have short-term memory. You have to let it go. They can get it going back in the right direction today. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. Just hung in there on that one. The one two. Ball. I got to count two and two. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. So striding forward now, Gary Sanchez. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. The 1-0. And it's fouled away. One and one. Here it is. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. 
Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. The 2-1 pitch. Back up the middle. And a base hit as the run will score from third, and the Yankees score first. It's one to nothing. Hey, you never know when the turning point's going to come. It could be your number right there. Just an excellent job. Two out RBI. I know it's early, but clutch hitting is not just for the late innings. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton as he'll take a look at ball one. Lifetime numbers against Joe Musgrove. He's one for three. The 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Sanchez is off a of first with two away. Hey. Two and two. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Reynolds is on the move for it. Still ranging back. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A long two run homer off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Number 18 for him on the campaign as the Yankees move out to a three to nothing lead. Yeah, you never want to give up anything in the first inning, but to go down 3 0, it's just painful. Can't afford any more early mistakes, or the hole's going to be too deep to climb out of. Now in the box, DJ LeMayhew. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. First pitch coming, here it is. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. One and one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Reynolds is camped under this one. And he will put it away to retire the side. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. On to the bottom of the first. It's now 3-0 New York. Masahiro Tanaka will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Tanaka right now is the best of all of their starting pitchers. Good fastball, 92 to 94. Best pitch is the split finger. He'll throw it early. He'll throw it often. If he has the good split, these hitters are in for a long night. Into the box now, Kevin Newman. It leads things off here in the bottom Pirates. half of the first. The second baseman, Kevin. Now here it comes. Newman. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, now well, they've been on a pretty good roll of late. Winners of seven of their last eight ball games. Maddie, this team is oozing confidence right now. They were playing well coming into this game. And what do they do right out of the shoot, top of the first throw, a three spot up on the board. They got the opposition on their heels. Behind 0 and 2 now. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, man, that that's the advantage of getting ahead of the count. Field. You can really force Atta. hitters to expand their zone Ranger. to protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. 
So here's Adam Frazier. As the first oh, pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. This is swung on and popped up, crossing into foul territory now behind third. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Batting third, the center fielder, Brian. Reynolds. Ready now, Brian Reynolds. And he'll be looking to change his fortunes in this one. He's seen his numbers take a bit of a dive in recent action. And the pitch. Hey! Tanaka's ready. Here's the 0 1. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Pirates. Still down 3 0. Stepping up to the plate, Luke Voigt, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. All one's the count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Fouled off. Sinker misses and it's one and two now. And that misses two and two. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. Batting eight. The shortstop. Stepping in, Tyler, Tyler Wade. He'll get to Wade. take his first cuts here. The pitch. Ball one. Oh, and he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Now the two one pitch is taken, yep. ball three. One out, nobody on. Chopper to short. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Batting nut, the pitcher, number 19, Masahiro Tanaka. At the plate, Masahiro Tanaka. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and 
Runners on first with one down. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. The second for one. Go yeah. on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. The center field. Ah, he got the bunt down, but he didn't right. deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. So digging in now, Brett Gardner. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. Miguel. That's his second hit of the game, and, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Here's Miguel Andujar now as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Even though we're still in the early going, I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach, but if they can't score any more here, the other guys feel like the door's still open. Runners at second and third with two gone. One and two now as that one's fouled off. A ball and two strikes. Line to the right side, but foul. From the stretch, the one two. Good take right there. He's given him a great battle with guys in scoring position. We'll see who's going to win this duel. Here's the two and two. And he fouls this one off. Down the first baseline. Bell picks it up. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. They lead it three to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Josh Bell having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. What a season this guy's Bell. having. He's right up there among the RBI leaders, and he's awfully dangerous with runners on base. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Two and oh. Two oh to a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. Two and two the count. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. He's just got great strikeout stuff. In his last start, he racked up double-digit Ks. Matty, and it looks like he could finish up in that range break. again here. Holland. He's really an exciting Ball pitcher to rash. watch when he's sending guys packing like this. So now to the play, Colin Moran. 
as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one the average for him coming in at 322 11 home runs 39 driven in. And it's 2 and 0 oh now to Colin Moran. Bases are empty, one man out. This is pulled into right. Judge is there, two down. Batting fifth, the right fielder, Gregory. Polanco. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Gregory Polanco, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Nope. Tanaka, it's a guy who throws a lot of strikes, rarely walks people, but what does bite him occasionally is the home run ball. Matt, this is a guy that's not a power type of pitcher, so he needs to rely on being down in the strike zone. One of the keys, he tends to lose being aggressive when he falls behind and he kind of nibbles around the strike zone. And what happens with that, Matty V, he becomes very predictable. And when you don't have overpowering stuff, you tend to be able to get hit hard. In tight with the slider, two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Grounded softly to the right. He's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three go the Pirates. They trail in this one, three nothing. Digging in now for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Number 99, Aaron Judge. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. A leap at the wall, but forget it, it's gone. A home run. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. 19th home run for him on the season. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. Oh, and that was really close to a long out. The left fielder had a beat on it, and he gave it a great effort, but he couldn't quite bring it back. Instead, it's a trip around the bases. At the plate now, now Gary Hector. Sanchez. Gary. As he'll take oh, a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. One for one after a single this first time up. The 1-0. -oh. Misses, ball two. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight. This pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. Two and one to count. Base is empty here with nobody out. Fouled away. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Frazier has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. 
now back. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Giancarlo Stanton. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. Hey, and in that last at-bat, he took this one to straightaway center field, the deepest part of the ballpark. So this guy can hit a breaking ball a long way. One out, nobody on. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And there's out oh. number two. Now batting, second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up D.J. LeMahieu. First delivery to him on the way. Ball, that's out. The 1-0. Is looked at for ball number two. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Lifted in the air to center field. Reynolds is on the move for it. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now a 4-0 New York lead. Standing in, Kevin Kramer. 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on Not offensively stop. so far for these Number guys. 44. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Here comes the first pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Woo, not a spot you expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. And he misses with it 1-1. One and one. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And a swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. Not much you can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Sent on the ground out to second. Well, Mayhew's got it. And there's one away. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. Going. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. That's a ball. Breaking ball called just a bit low. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he's part of a flat-footed tie for the AL lead. 
Coming to the plate now, Joe Musgrove. His guys still looking at a zero in the hit column. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Down 0-2, maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Pirates. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. And welcome back to Pittsburgh as we check in on the field with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already put four runs on the board, and they've done so by running up their opponent's pitch count. So he said he thinks they're going to have a lot more opportunities to score because of that as the game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Striding into the box, Luke Voigt. They'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Luke. Here Boy. comes the first pitch. And a check swing here, but he oh, clearly man. went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Ball Off one. the plate, one ball, one strike. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now the 2 1 pitch. It swung on and missed for strike number two. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. Now batting. And while we have a moment, here's a look at the Pirates' road to the show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. For the current campaign, Wade is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. And he fouls this one off. This year against right-handed pitching, Wade brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. The 1-1. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And there's out number two. The pitcher, number 19, Masahiro Tanaka. So now the pitcher for the Yankees, Masahiro Tanaka, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Now the pitch. Aye. One of the big keys to pitching well is getting ahead early on, and it's been far from that for this guy so far. Less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. The Yankee pitcher at the plate with a one-and-one one count. 
Four runs, six hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they hold a four to nothing lead. Now batting, Kevin Newman back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. The pitch. Counts 1-0. and oh. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Here's the pitch. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Yeah, doubled up on the slider away there. Got him to go after it before, so why not see if he'll offer at it again? And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. And that's out number one. Not a lot now you bad. can do with that pitch. The that fastball field. just ate him up At inside a... and gets the Great soft grounder for the out. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Here's the first pitch to him. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Two and two to Adam Frazier. No runs, no hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Swing and a line drive. And the Pirates are in the hit column. Now batting, center fielder, Brian Reynolds. Stepping in now, Brian Reynolds. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four seamer right there, but get back to that two seam. It's what his MO is. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hey. I got to count one and two. Runner at first here, one man out. There's ball two, two as the two. slider dips below the zone. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And look out as that one ran in and got him. 
And this guy loves to throw the slider, and Number it's a three. very Number effective 55. pitch for him. But here's the flip side of yeah. that coin. He starts this one too yeah. far inside and plunks the hitter. At the plate, Josh Bell. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strike taken up in the zone. Big spot right here. Got to find a way to get back in this ball game and scratch a run across. Swung on and missed that strike two. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. So we got him looking there. Josh Bell becomes out now number batting. two Third this inning. Colin Moran. Into the box now, Colin Moran. He'll swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. With runners in scoring position this season, Moran carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Tanaka pauses. Here's the 0-1. At the ball. On the season, Moran is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. Here's the one and one pitch. Nope. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Popped him up. Wade is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Pirates strand a couple. They're down 4 nothing. <laughs> New inning set to get underway. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. Center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. First pitch of the at-bat. Hey. Tight break with the slider there. Catches the inside for a strike. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Hit down the line at first, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0 2. Ball. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. That's so two balls and two strikes now. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Polanco to the track. Gone! Solo shot to right center. Number 13 for him on the year. And that'll stake the Yankees to a 5-0 lead now. Man, this has been a rough one for this guy so far. That's the third homer he's allowed today. You better start keeping the ball down in the strike zone or that total might continue to rise. 
Stephen Brault, complete. a lefty standing now six foot even, five. takes over the pitching duties here. Number 43, Stephen Brault. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. Miguel. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the 0 1. Swinging a soft liner, and this will be no problem over at third, and there's the first out. The right field. So with this day right over now, you get a look at the final Aaron. pitching line for the Pittsburgh Good. starter. Not the night he or his club were hoping for. Yeah, nothing seemed in sync for him out there in this one, Matt. He just couldn't get the ball where he wanted to, and the opponents really took advantage of that. That's a brutal feeling sitting in the dugout. Know that you disappointed your team and you went out there and laid an egg. Here's the first pitch to him. Well, and he lays off there 1-0. Oh. Ball one, no strike. Nope. Lays off the fastball away, and two it's 2-0. Oh. No oh, and he turns another one around here. And his fine ball game will continue. Give him another home run. So a solo shot here to left center field. His second of the game. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. And we've seen four round trippers from these guys so far. Dan Dero, what do you make of all this? Now batting, catcher, Gary Sanchez. Nope, ball one. Count one and Gary Sanchez comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and oh. And the pitch. Hey. Line toward right center. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality oh, pitch on the game. inside half of the plate right the there. You. Try to bust him in, d and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. A hit in two tries for him so far. Drill down the line. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. From the belt, the pitch. Still only one out in the inning. A line shot to third base. And it got there so quickly the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settle with just the one out. Now batting. Second baseman. DJ LeMahieu. Digging in now, DJ LeMayhew. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat on its Ball way. One. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. And I believe he broke the plane of the plate there. He most certainly did. It's a ball and a strike. The 
one one is taken for ball two. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's in there. Base hit. Now batting the first baseman, Luke Boyd. Into the box, Luke Boyd. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. No hits to this point. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. That's 3 and 1. 3 and 1 here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Looking to minimize the damage here. Now Void with a high fly ball out to deep left field. Oh, that's into the rotunda area. A three-run shot down the line in left, number 14 on the season, as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Mitch, Mitch Keller gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this now mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Mitch Keller. To the plate now, now Tyler Wade. The shortstop. Tyler. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 1-0. He's outside, outside for a ball. Three and oh now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. That one's in there, three and one. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. He pulls this one into right. Polanco is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So they really tee off here for five runs in the inning, thanks in large part to three big flies. Last half of the fifth coming up, it's the Yankees nine and the Pirates nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked with Pittsburgh's manager during the inning break about the Pirates' offensive production to this point. And he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. For the Pirates. All right, Heidi, thank you. The right fielder. Gregory Polanco. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A 
They're facing right handed pitching so far this season. Polanco is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau. Source of pride for him, I'm sure. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Fouled away. The next 0-2. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Gardner going back at the track. Boom goes the dynamite. Gregory Polanco leaves the yard with a solo shot. Number 11 for him on the season. And they're now on the board, though still well behind. dug themselves quite a hole but they say the first thing you need to do when that happens is to stop digging well with that solo shot they've stopped digging but they've got a long way to go before they climb out of this hole completely now back and now Kevin Kramer as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one 0 for 1 for him here in this one The 1-0. He's in there for strike one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. No outs, nobody on. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. The 2 2 is a fastball taken okay. high for a ball. Swing and a hot shot toward third. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he is Thanks. safe at second base as he legs out a double. Now batting. Catcher. Let's slow this one down and take, take another look. Great camera Go angle ahead. here. Looking straight down the left field line. You see him take that inside route to the ball. His hands stay back. And he goes oppo to find himself at second. Settling in now. Jacob Stallings. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Low and away as he misses again. 2-0. and oh. Not even close with the 1-0. Oh. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Big cut at the 2-0 slider, but he comes up empty, 2-1. and one. Two balls and two strikes the count to the Pirates catcher. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full, 3-2. and two. The payoff pitch home. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Now batting the pitcher. Oh, man, that check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk. 
Now at the plate, Mitch Keller. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. From the belt, the pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And that's going to land foul. None out, runners at first and second. Called strike on the outside part of the plate, 0 and 2. And it's fouled away. Here's another 0 2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Now back, back to the top Second of the lineup. Base. Stepping in, Kevin, Kevin Newman. He was retired via the ground Newman. ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Runners are at first and second with one away. A 1-1 one, one count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Full count now. Three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Ready with the payoff pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The payoff pitch one more time. Pops this one up. One there. He's out. The batter, the left fielder, Adam. Frazier. Digging in once again, Adam Frazier, a hit in two tries so far. First offering on its way. Ground ball right side. LeMahieu gets to it from deep in the hole. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Masahiro Tanaka, getting to hit for the himself here, largely due to the big cushion Masahiro he's got to work with. Tanaka. First delivery to him on the way. Yeah. Fastball taken a little under the letters, called a strike. Now it looks like a right-hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. I got a ball, one strike. 
And a fastball that misses up in the zone here. It's two and one. A bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So one gone in the inning now, and that'll bring in Brett Gardner. First pitch of the at-bat. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Back goes Polanco. Still going back. And it's gone. Solo shot to right center. His second home run of the game as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. It's getting pretty comical now. Their sixth home run of the game, and they're not done yet. They say hitting is contagious, and apparently that applies to the long ball. It's looking like batting practice out there. At the plate now, now Miguel Andujar. The third base Miguel. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Now that's popped up. Bell is over and he tucks it away for the second out. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judd. Ready once again, Aaron Judge. And his confidence has to be in a really good place right now, having already launched two balls over the fence in this one. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. One ball, a ball one and a strike. strike. Two out, nobody on. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's the Yankees 10 and the Pirates 1. Digging in the switch hitter, Brian Reynolds. And through five turns at bat, we'll they've only Pirates. mustered a total of three hits. Fielder. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all Riddle. cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. First pitch on its way. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. So yet another strong the outing for him baseman. tonight as we show you the yeah. league leaders in ERA. Yeah. And as you can see there, he's currently in fifth place in that department in the AL race. So here's the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Aye. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. One out, nobody on. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. 
Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. That fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Bases are empty, one man out. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys now is batter. exactly what Third we saw baseman. right there. Pitchers Come work way. around them and nibble the corners Ball a lot man. more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. He'll wind up lasting just one out into the sixth inning, but he'll leave with the lead and You're was attention, effective please. in this one. Now Jonathan Holder here. is going to come on in relief Number as he'll 56. be making his 20th appearance Jonathan of the season. Holder. Colin Moran will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, and one. Runners on first with one down. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. In the air now out to left field. On the move is Stanton. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The batter. The right fielder. Gregory Polanco. Here's Gregory Polanco. He's one for two in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball oh, that's up there. Now the 1 0. Ball two. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. The 2 2. Hit down the third baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. From the belt, the pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for Pittsburgh. They're down nine. It's 10 to 1.
at the plate, lead Gary Sanchez. He'll lead the things catcher. off as they look to Gary. perhaps build on an already sizable lead. First pitch coming, here it is. And he lays off for ball one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Polanco to the track. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. That was a pretty good fastball, and it Yankees. almost got by it. But he's able to slap it in the Not gap in the right road. center field. Because yeah. of the velocity off the bat, the outfielders couldn't cut it off in time and allowed him to cruise in the second really easy. At the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Going back is the right fielder. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. His second of the game as this lead got even wider. So batting practice continues here today as they notch their seventh home run of the game. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, you know what, d -Row? This is a pretty good pitcher's ballpark, PNC, in Pittsburgh. What an impressive hitting Your performance by that lineup. Now, this park, it definitely fire. caters Number to the left-handed hitter. With that wall in right field, you feel like you can book Peter one left. into the Allegheny. Not the same for a right-handed hitter. Big left center gap and center field plays deep. Blake Cedarlin comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run now out that. there in this one. The second baseman, DJ. And that sends Le DJ LeMahieu into the box as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ball, ball two down. now. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Outside, 3 and 0 now. And when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Wow. All I know is these guys don't need any more help to get on base. Believe it or not, that's the first walk they've gotten. They've done all their damage the hard way. See if they can add to it here. Ready for another shot now. Luke Voigt. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly hey. low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. And, Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1-2. and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone-cold take. The one two. I got to count two and two. That's back to back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. The 
the 2-2. Line drive to left. In there, a base hit. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He the better bat. be circled on that the lineup part because he's on fire. fire. That's his second Wait. hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. So now to the plate, Tyler Wade. As he'll chase one up around the letters here for strike one. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Ready with the 0-1. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. Here's the 0 and 2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Reynolds is under it to make the play on the first down. The pitcher, number 56, Jonathan Holder. Digging in, Jonathan Holder. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. From the stretch. Aye. With some traffic on the base pads, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. Behind 0 and 2 now. First and second now, one man out. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge right. pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Two men are on with two men out. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Now the 2 1. Nope, that's down. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Hey. Hey, a swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So gentlemen, it's two runs on three the hits, including the home Never run. No run. errors, and two men left on base. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. It's the Yankees 12 and the Pirates 1. So stepping in, Kevin Kramer. He'll try and do what he can to work toward Not cutting into stop. this big deficit. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Here's the 0-1. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Full count.
Now the payoff pitch home. A swing and a ground ball to third. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Well, that's always the danger when you've got a lead that's this big. You know there's not a lot of doubt about the outcome of the game, so you lose focus a little bit in the field. And sometimes as a player, you try to trick yourself into playing like it's a close game so you stay sharp. Up next for the Buckos, Jacob Stallings. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled off. A runner at first with no outs here. At strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0-2 the and then start Number working 62. outside the zone. Four. Easier said than done, but that's Peter the way you Lad. do it. Ladies Eric Gonzalez will right. grab Pinch a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Pinch hitting for the Pirates. Number two, Eric. Gonzalez. And this is taken outside for ball one. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. Three homers and 11 RBIs. The 1-0. Whoa, that's down. Runner at first here, one man out. Skied into straightaway right. Judge is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, second baseman. Kevin Newman. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Kevin Newman. He's hitless coming into this at bat so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible but this very well could be the last chance to do that. From the stretch. Ball down. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. A runner on first with two away. And there's ball two now. Hit to short. Reined in. Throw over to LeMayhew at second, and that'll do it. Pirates leave one. They're looking up at a 12 to 1 deficit. Michael Feliz enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Michael Feliz. 
ready to begin the eighth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Miguel and Duhar. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Nope. The Takes ball. a pitch high and away for ball one. As we head toward a conclusion in this one, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah, the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs, I mean, strewn throughout the line, it screams to the modern day of baseball. The three true outcomes, these guys aren't worried about hitting singles. They're trying to stop traffic over that fence. D-Roy, it can't be better said. I think the day and age right now for pitchers is you have to approach just about every pitch like it's a two-strike pitch. No get-me-over curveballs, no get-me-over change-ups. Every pitch has to be thrown with a purpose. Two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Three two. Aaron Judge will be next. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, the right kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, Aaron. and delivers a hard hit Good. line drive. Aaron Judge will stand in again as he looks for home run number three in the ball game. as we flash you back here to his second home run. This was back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at-bats. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. The There's a fastball missing down That's and away and for a ball. One and oh. Hey. And he takes a cold strike one. The one one is oh, laid ball. off for ball two. Nobody out runner on first. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Gone! All rise, Aaron Judge. A two-run shot. His third home run of the ball game as the blowout continues. Well, if you would have told him when he woke up this morning that he was going to hit three home runs tonight, he would have thought he was dreaming. Well, it's a dream night, but he's wide awake. Now batting, catcher, Gary Sanchez. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. Nope. As okay. the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. Lined hard toward right center. Polanco moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now batting, left fielder, Giancarlo. Stepping into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. 
in that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. 2-0 to the Yankees left fielder. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. The 2-0 on the way. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's 2-1 and one now. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. The 2-1. I got three one three ball it's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there pretty much unable to hit any of his spots and now he's at three and one and he's put him into another great hitting count and he fouls this one off. The 3 2 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Polanco, and it's gone as they add still another. A solo home run here off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. His third home run of the ball game as they just continue to pour it on here. Birdie please. comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better results than the other arms that Number they've run 57. out there in this one. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Now here it comes. Hopped up. And that'll get down for a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball player. Luke Voigt is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Three runs already home here. Swing and a looper to left. Here comes a left fielder. He can't get there as it falls in. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even now his batting. soft the contact is finding holes there. Tyler. He's making it nearly Please. impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. Standing in now, Tyler Wayne. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Line toward the alley and left center. That's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw to third. And he's safe. Yep, he Sometimes it. it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another, some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. Into the box, Jonathan Holder as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat.
The 0 1 pitch. I got a ball, one strike. Well, they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now. I kind of like the aggressive attitude right here. I know he's in a jam. What does he do. He goes to his best stuff and that's the fastball. Four runs here in this half inning. He got him and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out now of the batter. bullpen in these the days, but it doesn't make it any Red. less impressive to me. Larger. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Into the box now, Brett Gardner, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's had a great game so far, and a triple would complete the cycle. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. And this one is gone, a home run. So a three run blast to straight away left, his third home run of the ball game as this lead got even wider. Richard Rodriguez enters now in a mop up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 48, Richard Rodriguez. At the plate now, Miguel Andujar. The third baseman. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one and looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Ball one. Seven runs have crossed the plate in the inning. Drilled on the ground to short. Scooped up. And it's in time at first. And hallelujah, the side is retired. The final damage here 10 come to the plate, seven runs score. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Yankees lead it 19 to 1. Now to the plate, Adam Frazier. He leads off this half inning in what they Here hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they the just gave over. up. Well, Matt, I Adam. think mentally they need to get Frazier. one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, hey there's an old one. saying in baseball. You need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. The windup and the 0-1. Line drive base hit. I know the score's out of hand right here, but I've never met a big league ball player that's going to give away an at-bat in any game ever. Nice piece of hitting right there, staying within yourself and grabbing you a knock. At the plate, Brian Reynolds. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Nope. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. A ball and two strikes now. Hot 
shot down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Fouled away. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Misses ball two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Three and two now. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. The first baseman, number 55, Josh Bell. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch of the at bat. No, that's now down. a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Up next for Pittsburgh, the third baseman, Colin Moran. So two gone here in the Pittsburgh eight, and that'll bring up Colin Moran. He's set. Here it comes. Ball one. Fastball too high to start Not him out here. Oh. One and zero. Oh. Two out with the man at first. That's Not ball. close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Two zero count. The pitch too tight with ball. that one. Three and zero. Oh. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. A runner on first with two away. Full count now, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Again, he sends it out of play. And a good at bat nope. that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two now away. That, that was a great battle right Gregory. there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Digging in, Gregory Polanco. He's working on a one for three thus far. First offering on its way. Ball, that's just out.
Has a look. Now the pitch. Ball. Damn. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Aye. Down the left field line and deep. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Two down runners at first and second. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Set. Here's the three and two. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a three run shot to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game, but that'll do little more than make a dent in this big deficit. Some people would say this homer is wasted because they're down so big tonight, but I'm not one of them. I think anything you can build on and take into the next game is valuable, and at least they're still battling. Tommy Kainley will come on in relief now, now as he'll make his 35th game. appearance of the season. Number 48, Tommy Kainley. Now batting. In Number now, 44. Kevin Kramer, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. That swung on and missed, we're even at one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes, the count. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So they get three runs on two base hits, with one of them being the big home run. We've played eight full. The Yankees lead this one 19 to 4. Aaron Judge will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Reynolds is on the move for it at the track, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. And he'll get in there safely. This thing had a chance to get out of here as it headed deep to left center, but it stays in the park, banging high off the wall. The runner has to play in front of him, so he sees they're going to have some trouble getting it back in, and he motors round second into third for the triple. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Working on a good line in this ball game, three for five thus far. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there.
And it's fouled away. Rodriguez, a native of the Dominican Republic. He throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a two-seam fastball. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two two here it is. Helpful. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. There's ball four. Now batting left fielder. Giancarlo. So coming to the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. And he's got a very real opportunity at making some history here. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Lays off 1 0. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play to get in those situations where you can try oh, and do out. damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? The 3-1. And he oh. lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. That's a big no-no. He now obviously back. had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not okay. want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Digging in and looking for more, D.J. LeMayhew. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. He's set and the pitch. No, that's low. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something middle of the plate and drive some runs in. Now the 1 0. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Polanco has a read on it, makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. The relay, and they won't come close to getting him. He's in there at third. Man, the this is a spot where the you really want to get greedy as a hitter. Four. Bases loaded, nobody out. You're hoping for that big swing of the bat. What does he get? A sacrifice fly, and only one run scores. I'm sure he wanted more, but he's not going to complain about the RBI. Into the box, Luke Voigt. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. He's ready. Here's the first offering. That's a ball. The 1 0. Count now a ball and a strike. Skied into straightaway right. Polanco on the run. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. 
And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Now batter. At the, the plate, Tyler down. Wade. He'll Tyler. try to follow up the double Wade. in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. Fouled off. Come set and the 0-1. Oh. Two out with the man at first. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Hit on the ground to third. A dive. He's got it. How about that? So it's two runs on one hit. No errors and one man left on. One more shot coming up. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth. The Yankees lead it 21 to 4. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Your oldest Chapman please. will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the now lineup on the double switch the here. Spot. Torres double is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's Chapman. spot, hitting ninth now, now on the double switch. Time. Batting Stepping up. in, Jacob Stallings starting things for his Labor. side in the ninth as Torres. they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point, but these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Chapman nicknamed the missile for obvious reasons he's in year one of a new three year deal. Here's the 0 1 pitch. I got one ball, one not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not but I liked it as a pitcher sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside you can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you a ball and two strikes right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Up next he just to tattoos heart. this ball right no here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No oh, way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Cole Tucker will come off the bench now as he'll pinch hit with the runner at second and nobody out. Number three, Cole Tucker. And that's taken for strike one. That batting average hovering in the high 230s. Three homers and a dozen RBIs. Here comes the 0-1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. And there's one down now. Now batting, the second baseman, Kevin Newman. So the Pirates batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Newman 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses ball one. And he fouls this one off. 
A man at third with one away. Hit on the ground to short. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. They get the run there, but Up this the late in the game with the lead in hand, you'll definitely trade it Atta. out for a run. That Great doesn't mean sir. a whole lot. Now at the plate, Adam Frazier. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fouled away. And nope. there's ball one. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, in a quick series like this, you take the first one, you're guaranteed at least a split. They'll take that every single time. 21 to 5, the final in this one tonight. The New York Yankees posted a three run first to propel them to the win. Masahiro Tanaka earns a league leading 11th win of the year. Joe Musgrove was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.